Welcome, Liz, the tidy lady. Thank you for joining me. Um, I have a question for you. And as often I would come into people's homes and see that their Tupperware is just an absolute bomb site. I was just, um, we, we've got a bit of a Tupperware system and anyone that knows us has, uh, yeah, admires, I guess, what how we store our Tupperware. But I'd like to hear from you, Liz, as to how to actually keep your Tupperware um, place in the kitchen tidy, um, if that's in a drawer or in a cupboard. Do you have any hints for that? Mm, yes, for sure. So one of the most important things is stopping the lids from just skittering around all over the place. So containing them is a good idea. Now, it really depends on how much you've got the volume of Tupperware that you have as well. I have set up entire huge cupboards just for Tupperware. And we have um, file racks, you know, the wire ones where you can slot things in like you do with saucepan racks and that kind of thing. Absolutely brilliant scale from tiny lids right up to big lids. Or you can use other Tupperware to hold the lids so that they're sort of like little ones in the front and big ones in the back. If you wish, you can also store them with the lids on, stacked tidily, so they're in little towers of each kind or within sets or however you need to use it. Like if you have a lunch set that's a specific collection, you have them ready to go so you can pull them out. But they require them to be absolutely 100% dry before you put the lid on. And a lot of people just don't have the time, hence the idea of storing them separately. So even if you just have like a, a standard, even a takeaway container to hold the lids, and then you have your actual containers themselves either nested or stacked, sometimes on their side as well, works really well if they don't fit upwards, depending on whether you've got a deep cupboard or whether you've got a shallow drawer. It's all a matter of sort of just making it work for you, whatever is quick and easy, so you can get it out of the dishwasher or out of the drying rack and into its space straight away. And if you set it up so that everything has a space, Space, and that's when you need enough space then that's um, you know exactly where everything goes um, but of course first of all you want to declutter so anything that's stained or pitted or gone all orange and yucky inside because it had tomato in it you might want to you know recycle that or any random lids that don't fit Tupperware containers that are cracked and takeaway containers as well we all often have far too many because they they might come in handy you know like noodle bowls that's a really good bowl with that lid but I just don't use it. <laughs> You know what? Recycle it. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And if anyone wanted any more advice, how do they reach you? Oh, go straight to my website, www.thetidylady.co.nz and head straight to my blog too. Awesome. Thank you so much, Liz. You're welcome. <laughs>